The uh, next class of um, frameworks, uh, interesting that there may not be as many as there were before, although there's some interesting counterexamples. I'll get into that. Anyways, um, checklists of, uh, you know, have you done this? Have you got that? Um, in terms of uh, your security. Um, COVID that uh, I talked about in the last clip um, uh, is, uh, is one such, uh, but as I say, interestingly, it doesn't really address technology. Um, the, uh, there are uh, quite a number. Um, the, uh, the U.S. government, uh, they had uh, Federal Information Standards Management Act, uh, whatever it is. It doesn't um, address uh, specifics of, of what you're supposed to do for uh, risk or security tools. Uh, interestingly, it just says you are supposed to... Um, uh, <sighs> secure systems appropriate to the, the level of need, uh, the sensitivity of, of what they're uh, doing. And uh, all the details of that um, uh, get, gets uh, outlined in, in uh, uh, you know, for uh, the intelligence community, NICAP, uh, for uh, defense, I think it's DITSCAP, um, and for everybody else, um, and, and increasingly for uh, uh, the intelligence and military agencies as well, um, the NIST documents. Now, um, uh, originally, uh, the, the first version of uh, 800, uh, the, the 800 documents are a big class of documents, um, 837, if I remember correctly, uh, doesn't really matter because the subsequent versions have, have not been useful. But the, the initial, the original version uh, was one of these um, uh, checklists. And I tend to refer to them as uh, 135 checklists because uh, <laughs> at one time, oh, I don't know, you know, 20 years ago, uh, a little bit more, um, there were an awful lot of them, and they all, for some reason, had roughly 135 points to them. Um, the, uh, 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 you know, some would be 133, 137, whatever, but, you know, around 135. <coughs> and, interestingly, all of them, uh, when you went to buy them from the people who were selling them to you, uh, they were all about $135. So, uh, anyway, historical uh, artifact, maybe. But, um, interestingly, um, the uh, uh, GDPR, um, which um, originally that was the, uh, it, it derived from the privacy directives. Now, the original privacy directives of the European Union, and we'll talk more about that when we're dealing with privacy, they had seven um, principles that you were to follow. Um, GDPR added uh, one um, just called accountability. And the accountability is the one that gave people fits because it also you know, assessed uh, fines if you were not accountable, if you did not follow appropriate levels of security. But the accountability um, extends uh, and uh, gets into um, lists of things that you should do. And, interestingly, there's about 135 points in the new accountability section of GDPR. So, I... <laughs> My 135 checklists still seem to, to hold, uh, oddly enough. Now, um, uh, oh, there's, uh, there's also the Information Technology Infrastructure Library, which, as the name uh, suggests, is in fact a library. It's a set of books on what you should be doing with... Uh, your information technology, in particular, your infrastructure for your information technology. And um, it is uh, uh, 
you know, it is a set of books. It's, it's a bunch of literature uh, addressing, you know, how to properly uh, run uh, your information technology. And as uh, Spath has said, I, you know, a secure computer system is done is one that does what it's supposed to. So, in a sense, you know, by following uh, the the guidelines, the, the you know advice given in this library, um, yeah, you you should be you know more secure than if you're just randomly running around and, and sticking boxes in place. Um, the uh, originally. Uh, there were five books in the library. I think there's now 27 or 29. They've they've subdivided some. Uh, they've added some. Um, so, um, but it is yes, it's an actual library. Interestingly, you can get an ITAIL certification. It's sort of like you know, how uh, how do you achieve this certification? Do you just you know take a test indicating that you've written, uh, sorry, that you've read these books? Um, uh, tends to be more that you have to write an essay uh, and, you know, do some additional work. Uh, certifications, uh, very often, if the field that they are uh, um, certifying you on is, is not well-defined, the, the, the less well-defined the field is, uh, the more work they tend to put you through because they, they want to make sure that they are, in fact... Uh, uh, you know, trying to demonstrate that they are certifying something, even if they don't know what it is that they are certifying. Um, okay, uh, we've got uh, we've got a few others. Um, uh, one that you you probably uh, I think it's unlikely that you would um, come across them, but there are things called security blueprints. Um, these are, um, uh, a sort of a hybrid of the, uh, checklist and the breakdown types. And they, they tend to be, um, uh, very graphically oriented, um, the, and, uh, in, in a sense kind of fractal because you, um, you will have a, a box in one blueprint and that box will tend to open out into another blueprint. Um, so, uh, interestingly, um, you know, you're sort of getting a, as I say, you know, a, a, a bit of a combination of the, uh, the breakdown and the checklist model in, in the blueprints if you do run into those.